What's up, y'all? Leland Showtime Smith. And I'm shooting with a tear. How did you get the name the new? The new? I think around the age of six or seven, playing football, it was just like something everybody called me. Well, my mama called me. I don't know where she get it from, but then she pop up. She gonna live a long time. But yeah. All right. And talk to me about how it was Martin. Um, it's 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 rough, like. You gotta really be dedicated and your focus gotta really be there. It's just a lot going on down here and it's just basketball, any sport is the way out, so it's crazy. Talking about like having a lot of around. When you go out for your um, it's quote unquote known in the city, so you have to feel like you have animosity towards it. Right, everybody secretly envy you in a way, so it's just how you present yourself and how you carry yourself is just gonna, you know, determine your everyday life. So you're being watched. You don't know it, you're being watched. Alright, so as a kid, what part did you play for? Like, growing up, Parks? Played for Cutoff, uh, Johnny Jacob. Played for Par for like five days. <laughs> Um, Oakdale, so, yeah. How was your attitude mindset growing up, and how has it changed? Um, I was a hothead when I was little. Like, I couldn't be told anything, actually. I couldn't be told nothing. But as I got older, I realized that that wouldn't get me nowhere. So I started to change everything about me. So, yeah. I started taking basketball serious probably around the age of 10 when I made the JPRD team. I knew it was serious after that. Um, you know how you people got your homes? Oh, we originally was down here. Um, the hurricane. Oh yeah, the hurricane hit and uh, we evacuated to Atlanta, I believe. Yeah, we came back. We kind of should have stayed in Atlanta. <laughs> I think we should have stayed out there. Um, talk to me about your work ethic. My work ethic? Well, I want to win. That's my mindset. Everything. Commitment, pride. You take all of that. So, yeah. What's one of the biggest challenges you face now? Because I know you lost a couple of friends. I know you lost a uh, my biggest challenge was overcoming the fact that my best friend passed away. Uh, last year around November. Yeah, last year around November, he passed away. And it was just kind of like, it was kind of hard. I don't even, I still, I'm still speechless about it, but it's just, it's crazy. Talk to me about what's helping you get through it. What's helping you feel like you got to do it? Yeah, um, New Orleans is a tough place to live, so when I realized my ability with basketball, I knew that I could take us away from all of that, so I kind of took it more serious and personal on top of, you know, him passing away. So, that all took a toll on me. And when you play, you play basketball? What's his name? Kyvin. Kyvin. Talk to him. Um, we met at Cutoff, actually. It's crazy, because I can't never play him again. He beat me last, so it's just like, he got it. Like, I can't even play him again. But yeah, we met at Cutoff. So, do you feel like, Um, as we get older, the violence is increasing. You know what I'm saying? Like, 15 people die, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting worse. Like, it's getting worse, and it's just that getting closer and closer. So, you're like, you want to, I can't even, 
you want to not be around it, but it's just like it happens around you. Everybody look up to you, so it's kind of like, you know, hard to stay out the way because you pushing and motivating everybody to, you know, stay on the right path. So it's kind of like hard. So how you, um, I won't say like enjoy the city, but like stay up because you know how quick to kick a happen. Right. So how you still like, Basically, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I know you involved, you be out. How you can handle stuff? Like, you ever feel like if I'm out here, uh, I can't be out here for too long? Right. Um, well, I kind of learned to be everywhere with 30 minutes. So, like, I stay in a spot for 30 minutes and then move. Because anything can happen quick. So, you got to stick and move. You just got to, you know, do yeah. You can't be great. What's something people don't know about? And then after that, um, talk to me about do that first. Something people don't know about me? Yeah, um, I actually, I'm really good at football. For everybody oh, think I can't right. play football, I'm actually good. <laughs> yeah, and I low key, I, um, my spare time, I like to, I like to watch movies a lot. I'm a movie man. I like to watch movies. Um, we gotta be at least Friday or Home Alone. I think I'm I'm more of a Home Alone type of guy. Dude. I like I like Home Alone. The original, right? The original. First. So Kevin, like Kevin, love. Kevin. Um, what's something you like about Lost in New York? Yeah. That one. Yeah. What about ATL? Um. I knew you was gonna say that. I knew you was gonna say that. And I kind of think that's why my mama got the nickname the new from. But I'm not a girl, so <laughs> the why did she? Yes. A lot of people take me as, I don't know, I don't know. People tell me all the time, well, used to tell me, they used to tell me like I wouldn't make it nowhere. Like, they just used to tell me that the daily basics, oh, I'm not good, but I can't do this, I won't be this. But I overcame it, and I just, you know, worked until they was able to see, like, that's me, that's who I am. Then they pull away. Smith was terrific shooting the three and such a difference maker. And he gets a sliver of a look, and he does that. Uh, since we write the list, let's talk about um, your office, the office that you have now, and the one you plan to receive, something like top three. My top three? Yeah. Um... The, the ones I have now or the ones that... No, the, the ones, ones that you have now. The ones I have now, I have LSUE, I have Colin, who else? Um, USC South, Southern Arkansas University. Yeah, those. What's your top three? Like, one that you said, I made it if I received uh, it. ULL, Southern Miss, and Mississippi State. No, so LSU? Nah, I ain't. What he said when he told you about the Those are like power five. Just run up there. I think you're Yeah. I like I like Duke and Kentucky, but I'll settle for something underneath those. Um, what was the most shocking of? Not shocking, shocking. Not, nothing shocking. Probably my first offer, but the interests are shocking. It's shocking. It's shocking is they looking them. Yeah. They they reach out like I got a lot of interest. They reach out, but it's just like what's stopping you from offering me? <laughs> what's stopping the offer? What challenges did you face your first meeting? Um, making a varsity team. Uh, workouts was hard because it was just, you know, me coming from middle school, it was just different. Like, you got to be dedicated to weights. 
you gotta be dedicated to a lot. And then on top of that, this is like a college preparatory school. So it's just like, you gotta really want it. If you don't want it, you're not playing. So it's just like, yeah, I forced myself to fill those shoes in. About your mindset now. Oh, I got a winning mentality. I want to win. I believe from last year when we lost to Ellender, I believe that we were going to be like the top three team. Top three. We were going to be in the top three. And we're actually the number two team with the best record in 4 8. So putting that mindset into my team was just like, you know, an everyday thing. Got to remind them every day we wake up that road to state. So we believed it. So that's what we push it.